While more than 74% of West Australians are now fully vaccinated against COVID-19, vaccine hesitancy remains a concern for some multicultural communities. The state government is trying to boost vaccine rates in some areas with culturally appropriate clinics, but community leaders say more needs to be done to counter the spread of misinformation. Julia Candemir hasn't seen her two older children in nearly two years. They live in Melbourne and WA's hard borders have made visits almost impossible. While border restrictions are expected to ease for fully vaccinated travellers early next year, Ms Candemir won't be among them. She's not intending to get vaccinated. At the end of the day, we've only got one body to look after, you know. Once you put something to your body, you don't know what side effects are going to happen. Hello. Andrea Criado heads up the Multicultural Women's Health Centre in the Perth suburb of Murrabuka. She says misinformation about the vaccine continues to circulate widely through multicultural communities. So when the information says that the vaccine could affect your mental health, it could affect your reproduction, it could, you know, like your, your fertility, or it could um, uh, affect your heart, and it can... So those are the, the fear. Do you have any questions and doubts about the vaccine? Ms Criado believes the state government needs to do more to counter the myths. Unless we make more of a concerted effort to address all of those fears and put into place some practical measures to help people, uh, the, the hesitancy around taking the vaccine will continue to remain an issue that we have to deal with. 